because we are, in fact, six months from the date of the passage of the health care reform legislation. And this is the day that starts the clock on renewals. So as your renewals take effect, uh, you will begin to see some of the provisions of the bill uh, take effect. Our company now, as uh, the holding company, has three subsidiaries, Marine Hydraulics International, Ocean Marine Yacht Center, and Technico, all located in uh, Norfolk, Portsmouth, and uh, and in Chesapeake. And uh, we have roughly a thousand, just under a thousand employees. We are an employee owned company, one of the largest employee owned companies in the country. Now, we are also in an industry, we do ship repair, shipbuilding for the Navy, that's our primary customer. And I, can't, I can tell you that working in a shipyard and working on ships is dangerous, it's also uh, very taxing. And in our industry, like many others, the average age in our business is, is approaching 48. So I don't need to tell you when you have a company and, and many companies that the age is approaching 50 years old that things start breaking down, sort of like your car. I personally have had, uh, I'm starting my 35th year with the company. Personally, about seven years ago, I had a vision that basically wouldn't it be nice if we could have our own health care, be in control of our own health care, have our own doctor and do all of this. And, uh, and so I started talking to my doctor about it and, uh, and, and uh, seven years later it came to fruition. What basically happened was my partner and I, Mike Torch, who's the president of the holding company, had a vision that what we wanted to do was not only control costs because costs are spiraling out of control, but the bigger issue was the health and well-being of the employees. We have roughly 4,200 employees, and our primary line of business is managed care for Medicaid. So from a health care reform standpoint, it really is going to be a big winner for us as a business. We actually have a team of eight folks that are truly dedicated strictly to health care reform to understand the impact to our business as well as to our customers and our clients. Uh, from my side, I support, of course, our employees, and as many of you that run benefits departments, it's becoming a significant challenge. Uh, we went through our rate renewal process this past week and presented to our CFO and chairman, and of course, it's all about money. Although we're in the business of that, from inside, we want to control costs. So, as uh, Gary had mentioned, we're doing a number of things. Uh, we've got a wellness program in place that truly is geared at the associate to help them make the right decisions about health care to understand what they can do to improve their own health. The, the portion of the consulting business that I work in is specifically uh, centered around what, what these two guys were talking about before. It's managing that health and welfare benefit budget for employers, and some are large and some are not so large. But it is, a, it is a struggle for every employer that offers employee benefits, particularly medical insurance, to their employees. Uh, healthcare costs continue to rise at a rate much faster than the consumer price index. Um, and every year, I don't care who you work for, you kind of anxiously await what your renewal is going to look like. How much is my family premium going to cost me for my employer, uh, if you're fortunate enough to have health insurance. Um, there's about 175 million people in this country that are covered through employer plans. And ever since March 23rd, when I go to meet with a client, we probably spend an extra 45 minutes to an hour talking about the health care reform legislation and how it's going to impact them specifically. In my last two positions in the public sector, I've been either fortunate or unfortunate, depending on how you look at it, to be responsible for health care. Um, normally, it sits under human resources, but my last two employers, Virginia Beach Schools and Chesapeake Schools, it has both sat under the Assistant Superintendent of Finance. And because that became part of my responsibilities in Virginia Beach, I was seeking ways to understand health insurance. It was a big black box to me. <clears throat> and we were members of the Virginia Business Coalition on Health, and through that I learned many, many things about health insurance. Um, I think one of the things that we learned quickly was that the biggest portion of our costs is related to individual choices. 
Um, and in both organizations, we focused heavily on educating the employee, <coughs> educating um, them about their health states. Um, we've had wellness programs in Virginia Beach that were very, very robust. When I came to Chesapeake, we had the, the school systems had just been given a mandate by the state to deal with student health, student health and welfare. And we kind of did a little springboard off of that with our superintendent and created a, a more robust wellness program in Chesapeake. I tried to find an analogy for these new health care reform laws. We did a, Richard and I did a presentation last week on this same topic. And the best analogy I could find was an iceberg. And really, the tip of the iceberg is, are the changes in health care reform we see for really 2010, 2011, 2012. During that time frame and the tip of the iceberg, which is fairly well defined, we can see all the angles of it, we can really see the permutations above the water, if you will, of the iceberg. It's a well defined checklist of tactical, patient favorable, design changes, plan amendments, and employee notices. These are all things that all employers who sponsor employer health care have to make sure are done and are done on a timely basis for 2010-2011. As we move down the tip of the iceberg, uh, oh, another tip of the iceberg which is a favorable thing are, are for small employers with less than 25 full-time employees. Full-time employees, an important definition in health care reform, anybody working over 30 hours or more. This is going to be a sea change for how some employers um, structure their health plans. Many of my clients only offer health care to employees who work more than 35 hours. Um, that's not going to work anymore. Um, so as we move down the tip of the iceberg towards the water, um, we see in 2012 and 2013, and the beginning of an immense amount of substantive government reporting on your health care plans. 